I give you a new commandment to love one another. Being a priest, I'm not immune or exempt from other people's actions. In fact, a couple of years ago, the rectory was um, due, some violence was done to the rectory. You see, the neighbor kids decided one weekend when their parents were out of town to have a party. And party they did. But we had nothing to do with it. It was the neighbor next door who notified the police at three in the morning that a party was still going on. And the police came and handed out uh, underage drinking tickets to most of these kids, which ranged in a $200 fine, as far as I know. And of course, who do they think called the police but the priest next door? And so, a couple months later, as I was heading out to get the mail and was heading back to the house, I happened to notice that there were stains on the front of the garage door. Someone had urinated on our garage door. Of course, one can only suspect that it was out of revenge for what they thought we had done. I give you a new commandment, love one another. Have we learned to live the golden rule? Do we love our neighbor as ourself? To some extent, all of us do. Otherwise, we would not be here today. But can we live it better? Can we live it out better in our world today? Can we follow Christ's example to be better people? James and John had room for improvement. After living with our Lord for three years, him giving his example, what do they ask? Lord, call down fire to consume these people. Most of us don't have a strong enough faith to try and call down fire and brimstone on people who minister to us or rub us in the wrong way, as James and John were tempted to do. Instead, we're more, a little more subtle. Sometimes our campaign of destruction is a little bit more disguised. We tear other people down in our minds. What we think of them. What are our thoughts when they do something bad to us? If we focus our attention on their faults. We look at their flaws and the things that they do wrong. If only they would change this or that, they'd be a much better person. Is that how Jesus thinks of those people? We also have a strong tendency to tear down others with our words. Well, people we know and also public figures we don't know. We use words to tear them down, to hopefully bring them down to our level. We criticize them uselessly and destructively, sometimes out of anger, sometimes out of frustration of what's going on, out of self-righteousness. Almost like James and John destroy their image in other people's minds. Is this that love our neighbor as ourself means? Is that what it should really look like? Maybe they truly did wrong. Maybe they deserve punishment. Is it up to us? Are we to be the judge and the jury? Are we the ones that are to hand out the sentence that's supposed to be given? Just like those citizens of Samaria, they wouldn't allow our Lord to enter that village because his destination was Jerusalem and the Samaritans despised the Jews. They wouldn't even let our Lord enter their city. But our task in this life is not to destroy our neighbors, 
not to destroy them either in thought, not to destroy them in word, and not to destroy them in deed. It's to follow our Lord's example, to try and build them up, giving them as many chances as they need, giving them opportunities. That's what Jesus does with us. How many times doesn't God forgive us when we've done something wrong? He's not out there to destroy us, to ruin us for some mamie little fault that we do, some little thing that we do wrong. But yet he's willing to forgive us and give us another opportunity time and time again. That's what Jesus does for us. And that's what he wants us to do for others. He knows it's hard. He knows it's difficult. He knows the challenges we face. That's why he's coming again today in Holy Communion to us, to be our strength, to be our hope. When he does, let's promise that we'll do our part, that we'll do our best to put that strength to work in our world today. I give you a new commandment. Love one another. As for the rectory, I got a bucket of hot, soapy water, a little bit of Hilux, and washed off the garage door and said, God bless you. Isn't that the thing to do? I give you a new commandment, love one another.